It is indeed an honor to be here, and I want to congratulate and encourage the Haitian Brown Table to do more of these things. Uh, my friend Paul, uh, the Grid News, has done magic throughout the city. Anna with the New York Women's Foundation, uh, they have a great leader. So the idea of putting race, national origin, and gender, and class together in form, I love it because it all is interconnected. This office is a unique office. And I know that every politician that comes says they're different. But I really am different. <laughs> about what happened in Cambridge, 
What happened with Gates and Crowley and Obama intervening? Could that happen in New York? Better. Has it happened in New York? And why does it happen? I would have town hall meetings about the stop and frisks in this town. First three months, 170,000 young men of color, African American, Latino, stopped and frisked. 89% of them, no probable cause. That's all about racial profiling. We've got to teach the city, the Bloomberg administration, Ray Kelly. We've got to teach them you can't profile people based exclusively on race. If someone says, I got robbed, the law enforcement person should be trained. It's not sufficient to say it was a black guy. How old was he? How tall was he? How much did he weigh? What was his facial hair? What was he wearing? Those are the kind of factors that you take into account, and we don't do it the way it's supposed to be done. That's the kind of public advocate I would be, raising questions that no one else will raise because that's who I am and that's what I do. I will have a deputy public advocate for equality, to deal with race, to deal with class, to deal with gender, to deal with sexual orientation and disability. Equality, equal protection under the law is what motivates most of the civil rights groups and the movement, and therefore, this office should be that. I am not a career politician, and hear me on the phone. I do not want to be the mayor of the city of New York. My opponents all see it as a stepping stone to get there. I know who I am. I kind of like who I am at this point. And I am an advocate. I am a civil rights lawyer. Let me conclude, because I see Carl getting up, and that means he wants to have me stop. I still believe very strongly, just as I learned in the South, that it's not true. Equality and justice for all. You know better than me that that's not true. And in the context of that, I still believe there are hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers, black, brown, red, yellow, and white together all across the city, who still dare to dream about how it's supposed to be. How it's supposed to be, not how it is. I'm one of those dreamers. And I think we need a civil rights mindset in this office. And I invite you all to the January inaugural ball for Norman Sanders. <laughs>